Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadow of War. All right, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we were here. We're not right now. I'm uh, viewing this from the uh, map screen, and that's why the uh, Mystic Capital, uh, or Mystic Citadel, <laughs> rather, level is showing lower. There seems to be a glitch. Um, if you're not currently in the area that you're viewing that the level for it shows lower than it actually is supposed to be so don't know what to do to fix that anyway um <laughs> that in mind i have altered a lot of how kirithungo looks <laughs> because well, things went wrong. Um, I decided to have uh, Baga Gold Thief go through the fight pits a little bit. I figured since he was epic, he would have an easier time of it. But I forgot the lesson with Rosh, and that epic doesn't guarantee a win. And he died quickly, and never came back either. That was a thing as well. I tried to eventually have that happen. He didn't come back. But we, what we did have was a lot of other Uruks showing up and just eventually dominated them all. <laughs> a lot of these guys are absolutely new. Um, some of them are not. Um, some of these you might recognize. Flog, Gubu, Amuzu, Akaro. Akaro, I think, might be new. Krook. A lot of these are guys who were here during the initial invasion. A lot of these are new people that have popped up since then. Uh, the pit fighter guy here, he came up during the pit fights. That's basically where a lot of these people got their levels. A lot of these Uruks got their levels from the fight pits themselves. Some of them killing off a couple other Uruks that at that point didn't really matter. <laughs> But most of them got their levels through the fight pits. Um, as you can see, some of our lower ranked people are still here as well. We got Rosh there, we got Skoth, Azgul, Baga Sawbones. We got a, we got a majority of the majority of the ones that were there for the initial assault are still here. Uh, about a third of them are dead, including Baga. So, oops. <laughs> I, as you can see now, I'm also level 48, which means I do have the next, um, the next, what's what I'm looking for, upgrade when it comes to assaults, which is nice for me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that has worked out a lot in our, uh, in our killing and going through conquests and whatnot. Yeah, so... Uh, that's how Kirith Ungol looks currently. I just figured I'd show that off. Um, figured I'd show that a lot of them are still around. Others are new. Um, <laughs> and quite frankly, I don't have a favorite. <laughs> They're all so good. Anyway. I say that. Now I get out of here because there is a mission that we're doing in Nernan. One involving El Tario. So we come back over here. And this looks a little different as well. A couple of these guys have gone through the uh, pit fight ringer. And uh, come out somewhat stronger for it. Stakuga of the Blackguard is a new one. Uh, he popped up um, from a outlaw invasion. And uh, grabbed him. No problem. I think I had to... Uh... No, I did not actually have to... Uh shame him to get his level down oh, I don't remember who I did anyway <laughs> he's there he's a legendary uh, I haven't pushed him up here mainly because I don't think I could I think if I remember right he had a shaken master debuff or rather weakness that uh, if his bodyguard was killed he would actually be dazed and that's I'm actually trying to phase that out of my uh, war chiefs 
Most of the ones that are up here now don't have that. So I was trying to eliminate weaknesses that could pop up for them that I didn't want. And that was definitely one of the ones I didn't want. So there you go. Um, gosh, the Brave, I don't think he was here <laughs> uh, when I initially moved on from here. But I have came back for missions and whatnot. Uh, a lot of these are from the fight pits. A lot of the uh, original people survived the fight pits with, like, a plum. They just bashed through them like it was nothing. And I was surprised as hell because some of them got really close, really close to not surviving. <laughs> and it was just surprising to me. But, neither here nor there. We go through the main missions. Uh, Main-ish missions. Also, we're going to go to uh, do the rule through fear thing for this week. And that'll be done soon. <laughs> After I get this done and there's no other missions in nearby areas, I'll move on to that. I've already putzed around Saragost a little bit. Uh, just enough to see... Um, some captains, that's about it. I got a bit of intel about them. That was all. That's what I've done thus far. The Three Towers. El Tariel has spotted Nazgul nearby. Investigate the area to learn what they are planning. And that is a lot of XP that should put me up to the next level. Should. Key phrase. Your fight is funny, Ranger. Says you. You accomplished nothing. I've accomplished quite a bit, actually. The idea belonged to the Witch King. He tracks you. I mean, I've already so got the hey dear here. Hi he dear. He's been doing a bad job of it thus far. What? He can he can reclaim them? That's not good. Must cover ground more quickly. Well, luckily I have one. We kill orcs while mounted. Once we have retaken these towers, we should find Eltariel. She must know what is happening. She could be watching us right now. That is true. Here's hoping that she is. Otherwise, we're so well. Okay. Well. Okay. This is gonna be a thing. Kill orcs while mounted. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I don't recognize this guy. This guy must be new. And maybe. No. No, didn't kill him. Oh, ow. That didn't go well. Fuck you. Kill you. How about that? Fuck you, guy. There we go. Kill you. Maybe. And get you. He seems to be dazed, even though... There we go. Skun the Chosen. Well, he's no longer chosen, and he lo no longer has a head either. Oh, Numenorean Sword. Kind of want to look at that. Worthless! That's the main reason why I wanted to look at it, because it was worthless, and I wanted to get rid of it. Whoop, and more health for my Karagor. Oh, uh, second. Oh, God. Oh God! Why Eltariel was selected to be Galadriel's blade? Not I sure. Presume to know what is in an elf's mind. Surely this Galadriel would seem the best. I don't question whether she is the best. Only whether she is the first. Ah, uh, that is a good question. Is she the first, or is she just one of many? Because that seems like a thing. That might be the case. Oh boy. Oh boy. I might not make it. Oh wait. Maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will. Ah. Damn. I'm just blowing through them like it's nothing. Oh, I see. Yep. I have discovered another chosen. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Okay. This is not going as well as the other one. You will not reach this tower. I will cut you down. Will you? Then for the Witch King. Reclaim the hide here, for I am chosen! Yeah, about that. Oh, 
Oh, you're soft-headed. Okay, well then. That makes that easier. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Kill you. Kill you real good. And... Just damage. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. All the damage I can get. All the much... All the more better for me. Come on. Okay. Come on. How about... Fuck off with that. Really? Really? Really, game? That was the thing you decided to do? Fucking get it caught in the tree that was clearly not there? Not in the way of my shot? Really? Okay, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's extremely dumb. And... Dead. Beautiful. <laughs> the tree was clearly not in my shot. What the fuck? That was dumb. That was the dumbest I've ever seen it. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Well, they're angry now. They're angry. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's just fine. I'll just kill them now. And that should be the rest of them. There we go. Well, now I gotta do it on foot. Tenacious indeed. The Nazgul are wise to create such powerful servants. However powerful the chosen may be, the ritual to create them is where they will be weakest. That is true. Indeed. When the final tower is ours, we should turn our attention to finding the ritual's location. That is true. We definitely should. That seems like a good idea. Alright, and... Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And... Really? Ah. Didn't let... Let me finish him off. Oh, well. Whee! Alright, well. That's... That's not worth my time. I need to keep running if I'm just gonna do this on foot. Oh, hey! I made it! Oh, fuck off. You're not my prerogative right now. Defeat enemies. Well, then. Hi there! Fucks. Hi there! Chosen. Yeah. I will prevail. This uh -huh. idea belongs to the Witch King. About that. Shock Thus far, you guys have not proven to be really any good at your jobs. Just saying. And so do you, Ranger. Oh, uh, what? Okay, well, that didn't work. And he's got Volt Breaker. That's great. Ow, that didn't work out. Okay, well, fucking hell. Well, I gotta deal with him, I guess. Come on. There we go. About that. Whoop, okay. Well, that was definitely not what I wanted him to do. Ow. Come on now. What I want. There we go. I wanna get close to him, so that way I can do this. There we go. As long as he gets sick, I don't have to deal with that many enemies. And he's gone! Perfect. And... There we are. Then I just need to dominate. Goodbye. Thank you for going away. And we're done. Hey! Level up. With each tower we reclaim, the Witch King's vision diminishes. We will rob the Witch King of more than his vision. Well, I mean... That's what the hope is, anyway. <laughs> Thus far, we're doing a pretty good job, but I mean... How long can we last? Thus far, I mean... We're not doing too well. Oh, also, that was the thing that I kind of glazed over. <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I changed up my equipment a little bit because, aesthetically, I prefer the look of the Vengeance set. <laughs> of the Vendetta set. Um, mainly because green. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And uh, also, I realized that a lot of the set bonuses are fairly useful to me. Uh, I, I do say that mainly because this one also allows me to get more health out of draining and dominating enemies. That is a majority of what this is based on. 
the fact that I can get more health out of doing the drains and the dominations. So that way I can keep doing the damage that I need to do, including the techniques with might and elf shot that I need to do to keep me going and keep the enemy down. So, it's aesthetically pleasing to me, and it's also a way that I can keep myself running without having to rely on maybe my opponent being weak to something that I have, but at the same time, I do still have a bit of the poison damage output increased because I kind of like poison. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's very useful to me. It does a lot of damage over time, which I like. And with this set, it gives me might while they're taking damage, which is a good thing. <laughs> the more might I have, the less I have to take from my health when I need to do a quick might move. There you go. It's, it's a great combo for me. Uh, it suits my playstyle a lot better. And I at least have all the equipment for it. Now, would I prefer to have a dark ring? So that way I could just put on the Vendetta... <laughs> Vendetta dagger? A little bit. A little bit. But, I mean, it's... It's all... It's all... Shenanigans. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> it's all shenanigans I'll deal with when I come to it. So... <sighs> skill points. I have been diversifying some of the abilities that I can diversify, but otherwise there's not much else that I can throw points into. So I've been kind of at a loss recently for where to put points in uh, when it comes to getting other stuff. Mainly because all the stuff I have is the stuff I want. And there's not really much else I want to do with it. Uh, I don't... Some of them I don't see me using at all in the future. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe uh, eventually I'll change it up and find, oh shit, I like this better. But I just... <sighs> I'm not sure what abilities at I would prefer doing that with. I mean, Shattering Blow would immediately kill whoever I'm doing that for, at least if it's a grunt. That's kind of nice. But at the same time, the Critical Strike is also pretty nice, too. It's pretty nice, especially if I'm doing it with Captains and War Chiefs. I don't know. I don't know. I might as well get that last one for Mighty Shot. But, I mean, I've diversified everything else that I could possibly diversify at this point. So, honestly, I prefer the fire one, at least, so that way I can have like a fire shot, you know, should I need it, have poison as my main, and my dagger throws out curse, which is nice. So I I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that it uh works out the way I want it to currently with all my equipment. Also, I changed one of my gems to the warrior gem, so that way my uh, followers, which does not seem to really apply to grunts, and uh, the Mystic set, the one that I wanted to do, uh, turns out only really to apply to Grunts, which is not ideal to me. I would prefer my Captains having a lot of that extra power, but apparently it doesn't go that way. Oh well. So, at least my followers will be stronger in damage, and uh, I myself will be more versatile, which is always a good thing. Anyway, let's move on. Since we've done that mission, I don't think there's any more in this region. 
Uh, I don't think, anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there's just these. And, uh, these I'll do on my own time. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else in, a uh, Kirith Ungol that I needed to do? Anything that popped up since? No. Alright. So, let's us go to Saragost. To do that little mission and to, uh, diversify the knowledge that we have of the the army there, even though we're not going to be able to invade for a good long time. We might as well find out what we can find out. Also, I did not I did not unlock this Hey Dear. I don't know why it's unlocked. I only just came over here and I came over here through this. I never made it over to here. I don't know why it's unlocked, but it's unlocked for me. So there we go, I guess. Uh. I don't know. It's it's goofy. It was not supposed to be unlocked for me, but it is. Oh well, <laughs> I guess. Alright, let's fast travel over to here now, huh? Seems like a good idea to me. Oh no, I'm out of coffee. Oh no! I drank through all my coffee. <sighs> Alright. And this entire area seems to be a mainly marauder sort of area. Give me a moment to adjust myself in my chair. Pardon me. It's all squeaky now. But, uh... Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be a mainly marauder area, but as we've noticed, uh, even if it's just mainly marauder... Other tribes will pop up in the uh, in the army around it, so I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Ah, <sighs> boy. Don't get old, kids. <laughs> don't get old, because then you'll have things like your knee deciding to be a pain in the ass for no real reason. Ah. <sighs> All right, here we are in Saragost, and all I need to do is terrorize a couple of the enemies here. And I guess I could prioritize some of the hay deer as well. So, could I mark that? Yes, I can. I can mark nearby it anyway. I can't mark it itself, but I'll mark what's nearby for sure. Whoop. All right. And let's do this. Ha! Ah, got two terrorized. Beautiful. Whoop, okay. Whoop, okay, that didn't work out. And that didn't work, but that's fine. I didn't expect that to work out the way I wanted it to. There we go. And... Okay, jeez. Oh, I wanted to go for them, but they decided to run. Damn it. Okay. There we are. More terrorized. Jeez. A hundred. They want me to terrorize a hundred of them. Oh, God. This is not going to be easy. Okay. Got one more terrorized out of that. Yeesh. Alright. And. Got one more. Off of that. That's nice anyway. Jeez. Okay. Well, I think he was already terrorized, so that doesn't work. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this one's going to take forever. But, I mean, I could at least get some info about the, uh... About the, uh, captains while I'm here. Speaking of, there is... One of these... <laughs> hey, you're going to give me your info now. Uh, this guy I don't have intel about. Let's learn about Lorm the Noble. Huh? He's mortally vulnerable to stealth, and that's really his only weakness? Wow. Wow. It's actually pretty damn good. He's immune to execution and frost. Oh, he's actually... 
He's actually fairly strong. For a hunter? Yeah, that's fairly strong. Damn. Alright, well. Oh, ha <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> and I get whatever stuff you got. Also, that was quite a crotch shot that the game decided to have me do. Aha! Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, up we go. And... Fuck you. Really? Really, guy? Okay. Fuck off. You deserve that. You know you did. Alright. Alright, and we got this guy here. Goodbye. Buddy. Really? That didn't terrorize you? Okay. This should terrorize anyone who's watching me. There we go. Because <laughs> brutal executions always terrorize people around you. That's the greatest part about them, really. Alright, and... Goodbye. You're dead. Oh, looks like there's some uh, intel over there, and there's some intel over here. Also... Oh, come on, Buttons. Let me do the thing. Horza the Dreamer. That's a hell of a close-up. Extreme close-up! Holy shit, look at those fucking eyes. There's so much detail in those eyes. Holy shit. I mean, you would never know unless you actually got this close, and usually you're never this close. Holy shit. So, ma so much detail in the teeth, too. Gums are a little eh, but... Damn, there's like so much detail in the character models. Like, unless you ever got this close, you would never know. Alright, well, that's a thing. That is a thing I did now. Alright, well. There we go. I'm gonna take your info, and then I'm gonna run away so I don't fuck up this guy. Um, where is his stuff? Rook Eye Gouger? Who the fuck is he? I don't remember seeing him. Ah, uh, Horse of the Dreamer. There he is. Oh, he's a bowman. I didn't even see his weapon in his hand. He's a mystic marksman. Oh. Oh, he has a lot of fears. Oh, boy. That's not good. Well, that's not good for me, anyway. Okay, come on. Fuck you. There we go. That's what I wanted. And he, he got dazed from seeing that. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's... That's the eye gouger guy. And he has, uh... He has boomerang axes. Which is not a design I personally like. I mean, sure, it looks like it's white. White? Lightweight? <laughs> I was going to say white late. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my brain is broken. It looks... Like it's lightweight, but at the same time... <laughs> Sorry. I've broken myself. <laughs> anyway, at the same time, it just looks kind of wimpy. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. There we are. There we are. I'm going to get you in a moment. You fuck. Ow. You fuck. Again, get you eventually. Shit. There we go. I'm gonna get the guy next to you after you. Okay. Um. Let's get eye gouger's stuff. Also, it unlocked. That was weird. Weird light on the corner there. Mortally sickly and terrified of brutality. Really? Alright then. That is something I'll have to exploit. Whoop, okay. Whoop! That wasn't what I wanted. That was definitely not what I wanted. Man. Oh. Oh, that terrified a lot of them. That's good. Whoa, these. Oh. That works. <laughs> wasn't it? Wasn't intended, but it worked out nonetheless. Oh. Oh, wow. You have a lot of bodyguards. I kind of want to know what he is now. 
Scoon the Terror. Is that why you need a lot of bodyguards? To inflict your will? Also, you have a fear of execution, so you're terrorized by executions? That's funny to me. That's funny. Okay. Thank you for that. For sating my curiosity on that. Alright. Whoop. Okay, kill you. Wow. It's actually going a lot faster than I thought it would. Actually kind of nice. And there we go. Got a lot more. Kill you. There we go. And killed the guy on top of it, too. That's kind of funny. Oh, hey. We've slowly made our way over here. It's kind of nice. Wasn't intended. <laughs> gotcha. And that should terrorize him now. <laughs> Hi there. You're going to give me info too. Alright. Um, got him. Got him. That guy I don't have. Narug Warmonger. He's terrified of more guy flies. We'll have to keep that in mind. He's got a cool sword though. Maybe I can train him up. Train him up and get rid of some of these weaknesses. Hopefully, right? Alright. There's that. And... Yeah, there we go. Just wanted to get that to disappear. Up we go. And we'll purify the hay deer. Oh, come on, really? Let me get up. Jeez. That was dumb. All right, up we go, up we go, perfect. Alrighty. And purified. Good shit. Oh boy, this is gonna be the hard part though. Of course it doesn't give me any signs other than the circle. Oh boy, yep, maybe. Ah, there we go. Field in. Yep. Gondorian artifact. Nope, nope. Almost. There we go. There we go. She loved memory. There's another field in. Huh. There's a Gondorian artifact. Oh, oh, hey. Another Ethildin and the Barrows. Maybe there. There we go. And done. Two out of three. So it just gifted me the other one, and I'm not sure why. That's a little odd. Not sure what to think of that. But hey, I'll take it. Alright, so I'm going to learn a couple bits about the uh, people here. Or people by that, I mean Uruks. I'll learn a little bit more about them. I won't confront any of them if I can avoid it. And uh, here's hoping that next episode I'll be in Gorgoroth getting uh, that main mission stuff dealt with. Because uh, at this point I just want to get the main missions done so I can move on to the next big thing. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm going to be doing. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and dealing with the three towers with uh, Nazgul and a... El Tariel probably in the background and beating their asses and coming over here to terrorize some of these motherfuckers because why not for you.